Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to the Buffett and Beyond Research ETF letter. And we are looking at the transportation ETF, and the top five stocks in that transportation ETF are up 47% year to date. And, folks, yep, here's part of the transportation trucks, planes, and ships. And remember, folks, if you want to live on this beach like Jimmy Buffett and watch some of those transportation ships go by, you've got to learn how to invest even better than Warren Buffett. And remember, we are going to cover some of the stocks in this video because the subscribers that we have pay for the to see these stocks. But you can get a two-week free subscription. You can see all the stocks you want, folks. And you can go into our archives and get past issues or past videos of our ETF programs and our daily market letters and our Saturday market letters. They're all there for you folks. Two weeks free subscription. Just give us your email. Go to buffettandbeyond.com. Buffett is spelled with two F's and two T's. All one word, buffettandbeyond.com. Okay, folks, let us look at the S&P and the IYT. The IYT is that transportation ETF that we follow, and we see that year-to-date, the black line is the S&P 500, and this yellow-colored line is the IYT, transportation ETF, and we can see that at this particular point of this year, the transportation is leading the S&P 500, which is a good sign because, don't forget, folks, if you have raw products and they have to get to a production facility, you need transportation to get them there. And then when the product is made, you need transportation to get them to the retail stores. And folks, that is where the transportation ETF comes in. We want to see a strong transportation ETF in order to lead the market. However, we want to see if the top five stocks in this ETF outperform the S&P 500, because that's what we're trying to do, folks. We're trying to outperform the S&P 500. Why? Because 96% of professional portfolio managers that manage the Publicly traded mutual funds, 96% cannot outperform this black line down here over any 10-year period. And that's a Morningstar report from 2002. So when we pick the top five stocks in this ETF, yeah, we could see that four out of five of them are outperforming the S&P 500 index, which most money managers cannot do. Now, let us go over just the past couple of months and let's see what the S&P 500 is doing. And we could see that it is bouncing off its 20-day exponential moving average right in here. And I'm recording this on Friday afternoon, so these are not closing prices yet. But it's over the past couple of months, and we're looking at this because we had quite a decline one day in during this week, folks. And it was on Wednesday, and we didn't like that decline. It was pretty scary. But down here, even though the this S&P is bouncing off its 20-day moving average, this in indicator down here, which is an intermediate term indicator, is still pointing down. And when we look at the transportation ETF, we see it is bouncing off its 20-day moving average, but its intermediate term indicator is still pointing down. So we'll see what happens, folks. Next week will tell us whether this market is going up or whether it's going to go sideways for a while. And when we look at the S&P versus the IYT, the transportation ETF, we see that the S&P 500 is leading the transportation ETF by about double. So in other words, the S&P is up about six, almost 60%. The IYT transportation ETF is up about 30%. But can we pick, here's the question, folks, can we pick five stocks out of this ETF and outperform this S&P 500? Well, when we look at the top five stocks over five years versus the S&P 500, we could see that four out of five stocks are outperforming the S&P 500 over five years. And folks, this is something 96% of professional money managers cannot do. They cannot outperform this black line down here. So let's see how the stocks have done in this in the transportation ETF year to date. So we're looking at what, six, uh, or I'm sorry, seven going on eight months. And we can see the IYT is up 21.6%. So it's leading this particular year, not over five years, but this particular year it is leading right now up 21.6%, while the S&P is up 
18%. So those are really good returns for seven months out of the year, folks. But what about the top five stocks in this ETF, in the transportation ETF? It, it, they are up 47.5%, folks. This is two and a half times that of the S&P 500 and more than double that of the transportation ETF itself. So our hypothesis continues to hold true that if you invest in the top stocks in any ETF or any index, you will probably over the long term and even sometimes even over the short term, you will very probably outperform form that ETF or that index. Again, the transportation of 21%, S&P up 18%, top five stocks for this year to date up 47.5%. Folks, that's a phenomenal, phenomenal return. So folks, with our hypothesis holding true, we could go out this weekend, clear our heads of the market. And remember, if you want to live on this beach like Jimmy Buffett and sit in that chair and watch the beach, you've got to learn how to invest even better than Warren Buffett. And folks, 47.5% for the first seven and a half months of this year, pretty good return. All right, folks, you go out. You have a safe weekend. We'll see you back here next time.